Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Empelet, otherwise known as Pamboy, and this is the Gentleman Society podcast. This series highlights talents we admire because they shape culture and inspire us to strive for passion, but also for positive impact on others. We meet very different forward-thinking personalities who all convey values of care, openness, and elegance. They are the true gentlemen of our modern world. Today, I'm having a conversation with someone who's incredibly agile on a skateboard. At 22 years old, this young man has become one of the coolest content creators. There is a sense of freedom so representative of Gen Z in his attitude and aura. To cut a long story short, Evan Martinez is a breath of fresh air. Hi, Evan. How are you? Yo, what's up? How are you doing? I'm very good. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it. What's a gentleman according to you? A gentleman to me would just be a respectful, kind-hearted, caring, aware, and maybe just like a genuine person. So obviously respectful, kind-hearted, caring, that's what you just said. Those are um, adjectives that we tend to associate with femininity. But today masculinity has changed and evolved. So I'm really curious to know your definition of masculinity if you can describe masculinity in three words uh, masculinity would to me be more of courageous confident and like energetic i guess courageous is a good one what is courage it doesn't have to be scary but facing your fears or doing something not everyone else would do could you give me an example of uh one time you felt courageous yourself just with skateboarding you know like every time I go out and film. It's usually like I've never seen the spot I'm going to skate in person. And I have to go up and like skate the spot. And sometimes it's scary and, you know, you just got to make yourself do it. And because you know you can do it, it's just you don't want to fall. And sometimes it's scary to overcome that. How did you get into skating? Uh, I mean, just growing up and like having neighborhood friends, I would just, they all skated and they're all a bit older older than me, so... I wanted to hang out with them, obviously, so I grabbed a board from my garage and just started pushing around on my knees and, you know, like, eventually I started standing up and skating with them and, yeah, that's just how we, like, got around the neighborhood and, like, got to the store and got snacks, was on my skateboard and eventually just started doing tricks and stuff. That's cool. How long have you been skateboarding, actually? I've been skating for 16 years now. Wow. So how do you feel when you're on a skateboard? Uh, when I ride a skateboard, I mean, it just feels normal to me. I've been on a skateboard longer than I've been walking, so it just feels normal. <laughs> so people know you for that, and uh, they recognize you. You have a big following. What's the hardest thing about being recognized for what you do? Mm, I think the hardest thing about being recognized is just holding up to everyone's standards and trying to keep people excited and engaged. I mean, I'm constantly thinking of, like, new tricks to try and stuff and, like, ideas to film. And skating isn't easy to start with, so just trying to push yourself in the sport in general can be an overwhelming process. I see. Could you describe your perfect day? Do you skate all day long? Uh, Usually, yeah, I do skate, but, I mean, probably start with, like, a cup of coffee, a good cup of coffee. It always tastes different every morning. So, nice cup of coffee and then probably go skate with my friends all day, get a bunch of footage and just have, like, good vibes on the sesh. And then probably just a nice dinner with my girlfriend or something. Then the day. Skating is like a, you know, a style, subculture. What's your mm -hmm. approach to your personal style? What does it mean to you to be stylish today? For me, I mean, just, like, picking out my clothes and stuff when I'm skating is usually just, like... First off, being comfortable. I like I need to be comfortable in my clothes when I'm skating because I got to be moving around and moving my legs so I can't have anything like squeezing me. But, you know, I'd say I'm pretty certain on what I like and what I don't. So whatever I see and I like, I'm probably going to buy it or I'm certain I want it. And if I don't like it, I most likely won't get it. I see. Um, when you were growing up, were you looking up to any skaters? That inspired you? Uh, I mean, I think the most inspiring skaters to me were like 
just people that were like close to me and like my friends because that's like who I seen this game most and in real life. I mean, of, of course, growing up in Vegas, I like seen a lot of pro skaters growing up and the whole Baker team was like a big inspiration for me, but mostly my friends and just local Vegas skaters really inspired me. So who are your real life heroes then? Uh, in skating or just in life? Just in life. My mom, I have to I have to pick my mom. She's one of my real life heroes. She made me who I am today and yeah, shout out my mom. <laughs> shout out to mom. <laughs> yeah, shout out to mom always. Um, how does your passion uh, create a positive impact on the people of your community? I mean, I think I just create videos and hopefully I inspire kids and they go out and try and recreate some of my tricks or stuff I do and they get inspired and maybe do their own thing, but just with the idea I gave them. So I hope just to positively like get kids outside and want to go skate and make friends and stuff. And what does skating bring to you or to your life? Uh, skating to my life. I don't know. It's like so normal. I just wouldn't know what I would do without skating at this point because that's all I've been doing. And it's like, it's always been part of my life. So without it, I don't know what I'd be doing. So I'm very thankful for it. And it's basically like my lifestyle for sure. But yeah, it's helped me like get other opportunities too from skateboarding. So so essentially you're being true to yourself. So I want to ask you, what does it mean to be true to yourself? Just follow your like follow your dreams, I guess. I mean, of course, I didn't think skateboarding could be like a career. I, I did, but not like everyone else thought skateboarding could take me like this far. And yeah, I I'm still not to the top, but a piece of wood got me to where I am today. So I always believed in myself and I always tried to stay true to myself and worked hard and it, it pays off for sure. You said follow your dreams, right? Yeah. Is this your motto? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's everyone's motto, but yeah, I mean, it's always been a dream of mine to skateboard and not be able to worry about anything else. So, so far, so good. I couldn't skate to save my life, but I'm interested <laughs> now to, um, I want to talk to you about scents and smells. What scent or smells do you appreciate in nature? Uh, I mean, I really like the smell of like carving pumpkins. I don't know why, like ever since I was a little kid, just carving pumpkins, I'd always like smell the inside of it. But like the basic stuff too, like the ocean, flowers, grass, Like even like a forest, I feel like the air is fresh and it just smells good. And you can really tell the difference when you're like surrounded by nature than like in a big city. You're really young. Uh, I'm really interested in knowing what do you think your generation needs to in order to change the world? Oh, that, <laughs> this question's kind of hard, but uh, to keep the answer as simple as possible, I just think our generation needs to find a way to come together and start to find more things we can all agree on than disagree on. If we could all get on the same page about like certain issues, we will be able to tackle them in ways the older generation haven't been capable of. Like, I don't know, I just feel like we need to work together and stuff. I completely agree with you. What would you say to your younger self? I know you're young, but what would you say to your younger self? Uh... If I were able to talk to my younger self, I would just definitely say don't stress and don't think too far ahead and enjoy the moment. I wouldn't want to say like too much because, you know, there's like the butterfly effect thing where you say something and changes the whole future and stuff. So, I mean, I guess I could see things as a lot better right now, but also things could be a lot worse and I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now. So I wouldn't want to tell myself too much, you know. Right. And change the future. <laughs> thank you so much, Evan. It was great uh, chatting with you. Yeah, thank you so much too.